welcome to communication engineering playlist here in this session i'll be going to discuss single segment suppressed carrier what is single segment suppressed carrier as well as what are the advantages which is there with single segment suppressed carrier and based on single segment suppressed carrier how many things that we can improve in amplitude modulation so all those things that i'll be discussing and at the end how to generate single segment suppressed carrier that is what i'll be discussing in this session so let us begin this session with initial understanding that we already studied in previous few sessions of amplitude modulation as well as ds uh, double segment suppressed carrier where i have already explained you amplitude modulated signal and that is this now if you observe this amplitude modulated signal then in that amplitude modulated signal this is carrier signal this is upper side band this is lower side band so ultimately in am signal we send three different components carrier signal upper side band and lower side band when we talk about power transmitted in am signal then it is having three components of power transmission one is carrier signal one is upper side band power and one is lower side band power and we have seen carrier power is pc upper side band and lower side band power is mu square by 4 into pc so that is how we were been sending amplitude modulated signal and we have seen bandwidth of am signal that is 2 fm and even if we see dsbsc signal then in dsbsc signal we were been sending usb and lsb so we were been sending two components in dsbsc upper side band and lower side band so power transmission regarding upper side band that was mu square by mu square by 4 into pc and for lower side band even it was same mu square by 4 into pc and bandwidth of dsbsc is even 2 fm so that is what we were been sending in am signal and in dsbsc now see when we talk about signal which we are sending as amplitude modulated signal in that upper side band and lower side band characteristic is symmetric with respect to carrier signal so if you see dsbsc signal then carrier with respect to carrier signal upper side band this is what upper side band and this is lower side band so upper side band and lower side band characteristic that is identical with respect to carrier signal so it is not compulsory to send dsbsc means lsb as well as usb from any one of that lsb or usb one can easily extract complete original information and even if you observe bandwidth then bandwidth that is 2 fm so modulating signal is having bandwidth fm while in case of dsbsc and amplitude modulated signal bandwidth is 2 fm so ultimately one can easily say here we are wasting bandwidth like say we are sending double bandwidth than the bandwidth which is there with original information original information that is having bandwidth which is let us say this is the bandwidth then this bandwidth is fm so message signal bandwidth is fm but if you see dsbsc as well as amplitude modulated signals bandwidth then that is 2 fm so these are the drawbacks which is there with dsbsc as well as amplitude modulated signal so what is the solution of it so when we talk about solution of it then that solution could be provided by ssbsc that is single segment suppressed carrier where we only send any one of side band either you send lsb either you send usb so upper side band or lower side band out of this two any one band could be forwarded on channel so that we can receive and extract original information so in ssbsc what usually we do is we only send either usb we only send either msb so here in ss bsc what we do is either we send usb means this out of this dsbsc and either we send lsb that is this out of dsbsc so single sideband suppressed carrier means what single sideband suppressed carrier means 
we suppress carrier so we don't send carrier signal even out of two side out of two side bands we only send single side band like either you send lsb either you send usb so out of these two only one side band could be forwarded so that is what the basic fundamental which is there regarding ssbsc now see how many things that we will be able to save by using single side band suppressed carrier if you send signal by single side band suppressed carrier bandwidth of ssbsc i am just mentioning it over here so bandwidth for ssbsc you will be finding it is fm only the reason is we only send lsb or u usb so bandwidth of ssbsc is only fm and power transmission so that is even very less either you send lsb power either you send usb power so power transmission is, is even mu square by 4 into pc so these are the major advantages which is there with ssbsc single sideband suppressed carrier like see in amplitude modulated signal we were been sending carrier plus usb plus lsb so regarding power transmission it was having higher power transmission pc plus mu square by 4 plus mu square by 4 so pc plus upper sideband plus lower sideband that much amount of power that we were been sending over channel and bandwidth was even 2 fm that was for dsbsc as well as amplitude modulated signal now to reduce power transmission what we have done we have send dsbsc double sideband suppressed carrier where we were been reducing power and for that we have seen already some sessions you can see my previous session where you can understand how much power that we can save by using dsbsc so even that power was power of usb plus power of lsb so by having single sideband suppressed carrier all we do is we only forward either lsb either usb so if we forward that signal over channel will be reducing power transmission so power transmission is half than dsbsc so even further power we can save by using ssbsc so these are the major advantages now question is how to generate ssbsc signal so it is quite simple it is similar to the generation of dsbsc only but thing is all we need to do is we need to place bandpass filter which is what filtering either usb either it filters lsb so see as we have seen to generate dsbsc signal what we were been doing message signal and carrier signal were given to product modulator so dsbsc signal was generated and after that if you pass it through bandpass filter so that bandpass filter will only pass either usb either lsb so that will be single sideband suppressed carrier signal so that is how we can generate ssbsc signal now there are so many things that we need to focus about while we forward ssbsc signal one is we are using over here bandpass filter now see when we use bandpass filter it should be very sharp when it comes to filter out either usb either lsb the reason is here this information of dsbsc that is symmetric with respect to here so if your if your bandpass filter is not that sharp if bandpass filter is not that sharp in that case it is possible somewhat information of usb may enter into lsb or somewhat information of lsb may enter into usb so that is what creating some problem regarding phase as well as frequency distortion so this is what we need to keep in our mind so bandpass filter designing that is much important thing in case of designing of circuit regarding ssbsc generation now see how many solutions could be there so regarding that there are some solutions that i'll be discussing in next few session one is by providing guard bed even we can resolve those kind of issues so regarding those things i'll be discussing in detail like how we can resolve those problems so stay tuned with this channel to understand how many problems how many demerits that is there regarding ssbsc and how we can resolve those issues so for that i'll be making separate session for ssbsc 
to resolve those issues which is there regarding SSBSC. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now see friends, I would like to discuss few things over here regarding what I am doing here and what you need to do to improve with your engineering understanding. Like see here I am teaching you basic course as well as few problems that I will be solving here. Now what is my agenda that I would like to know so that it will be clear to all like see what you need to do in future for your preparation. Like I have seen students were asking for problems and different sets of questions that they are asking me and I am finding it like it is so scattered one. So you, what you do is you study your course in with respect to the lectures which I am placing here and after studying all those lectures I think it will be easier to you to understand all those topics which is there in your university courses even. And regarding gate examination I have seen students were asking like you should make session based on gate it should be purely based on gate. I would like to say one thing like see I have seen students are not having that basic understanding regarding subject. So without having proper knowledge of basic understanding regarding subject you cannot practice for gate examination. So first agenda should be prepare course properly. After preparing course properly I think you should move on to gate examination without having proper understanding of course even if you prepare for gate examination I am telling you I am betting on that like see you cannot have proper understanding as well as you cannot score better in gate examination. I have appeared in gate examination before 10 years and I got 99.48 percentile. My all India rank was 451 and I am telling you based on my experience I have gone through so many students even how they have succeeded and I have find it like say to get a rank first agenda should be you should have proper understanding regarding course. Once you have proper understanding regarding course you can practice along with any reference book and once you practice along with reference book you will be improving with respect to calculation. Gate examination is all about calculation. Calculation could be done only if you have understanding based on course. So I hope that you got my point what I mean to say. So study course properly then after practice it for gate examination definitely you will succeed in future but first agenda that should be clear to all like without having proper understanding of course you cannot prepare for any entrance examination. I hope that this session is clear to all and definitely your suggestions are most welcome to me. Definitely I will get back to you based on your suggestions and I will filter out all those things which is required here and that will be helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Keep watching, keep motivating and sharing with your friends. Thank you so much for watching this video.